one of the positive aspects about coming to our class is the fact that um, we, every time we get in class, we come together and talk about what we're going to accomplish by the end of the lesson. And as a small class, it's a good thing that a teacher has time to like get around to every single student and you know, talk to them about their needs and what they want to finish. Our class does have a really good relationship with the teacher, especially if she's really engaging and like comforting, sort of. I feel our class does have a good relationship with the teacher. We get along with her. We do have fun in the class as well, but we learn a fair bit too, so it's pretty good. So the activities that she does with our class really is really engaging with us and just makes you feel welcomed. Hmm. As long as um, I feel welcomed, as long as I can properly engage with her and with other classmates as well, and as well as the activity itself. But if I can't find that connection, I can't really engage myself. Mm. Yeah. So it's law. I'm a big fan of law. It's my passion. And also that we get along really well with each other and we help each other out and always helping like with assignments, we motivate each other and everything. She has different sort of activities that she brings out to the class to make sure that every student is basically getting engaged and having a say basically in that class. The, the way that she uniquely approaches the class at the start of the lesson and how she places like the activities yeah throughout the class that's mm. how it really makes you engaged yeah so with my legal studies teacher um, every lesson that we have with her she'll bring out these clipboards so she'll give us she'll put one in each group and then we'll basically write down something that we've basically learned or something that we want to learn about or continue learning about, so which will help us really connect with everybody else and really know what they want to focus on and what's really important. Not just going by one student, she gets all different opinions on the situation and tries to incorporate different learning styles So because every student is different and how they learn is different. So just to kind of interact with each student individually and help them on their own. So she has this thing where she'll give us all whiteboards and we just write our own answers on it and then she'll go around individually and get everyone to read their answers. I really like that because you get to hear different people's perspective. And then she has a talking stick that she brings in and if the class is getting to be rowdy, she'll bring that out. And if you have the talking stick, only you're allowed to talk. And I really like that because it means that you're respecting your students individually and your fellow classmates and you're giving them, okay, they have the stick, they're allowed to talk, we have to be quiet and listen. And I think that's really good because otherwise it's just going to be chaos. Our teacher has a great understanding of the, uh, the subject overall because he's been teaching it for a while now and he's done it in real life situations as well. He builds and designs so it's really easy to get along and his feedback is very, it's important because he knows what he's talking about. Well, she definitely has a great knowledge of it. Uh, she's, especially with contract law, I reckon that's her best at the moment and all of it she's helps us understand it really easily as well. So. I'd say that we respect him because not only does he respect us but he like, he's a good, uh, what's the word, ambassador. Uh, for us and really guides us along not only like our school pathways but like along our future careers and goals and stuff like that. Because we respect our teacher. <laughs> no, it's just, um, I think it also has to do with home as well. So basically how you were treated at home and how you were raised up is how you should show the same respect here at school as well. So with Miss, with our teacher, um, she also shows us respect, so it's good for us to show respect back to her as well. I respect her, well, one, she's my teacher, so I kind of have to, and two, um, I don't know, she's a kind person and she treats us with res respect, so of course we're going to give it back to her, and she deserves it because she's done good by us.
as far as I'm aware, so why not treat her well? A good relationship with a teacher looks sort of like a friend. They're always checking up on you, checking on if you're on track, and you know, you're like, you're lost, because we all get lost six subjects, that's a lot. They're always like trying to find time to help you and you know, help you pursue your careers and all that. It's really helpful. You feel in, like you enjoy the class and you really feel like the respect and like proud to be in their class. The relationship with the teacher is important because having respect, having mutual respect is it's great. Having somebody who's always got your back is important because you've always, you're, you know that if you're going to afford, there's somebody who's going to help you and it's a great feeling. Clear yeah. communication, um, the feedback, the positive and the negative feedback that the teacher gives to us. Mm. So not being afraid to actually speak to them and having a voice with them as well. It actually feels really good. So like, it makes you feel sort of safe as well in that class as well. So like, you, you don't have to be afraid and so basically she will listen to you and really get you involved. If you get praised, do you feel really good yeah. about yourself? Yeah, you feel like, oh yeah, I did this good. Yeah. yeah. Good student-teacher relationship is, to me, being able to confront your teacher if you have a problem and having a good communication system with her and not being scared to talk to them or being able to go to them with anything that you need just having like a general conversation with them as well like about how your day has been you can do that easily as well it would feel like you would feel safe with them and you feel like you can trust them and that they actually care about you and your education it affects our learning because not only does it like it makes everyone engaged like when he's speaking no one else in the class is speaking and when you're speaking he's he's there listening and so is everyone else Personally, if I have a bad teacher, or normally just a fill-in teacher, I don't really engage because mm. I don't find it necessary. Even if the teacher puts it on a piece of paper saying what we have to do, I don't really want to do it because yeah. I'm not bothered. It's Yeah, you don't have the same connection yeah. that you have with your normal teacher. Mm. I don't know you. So. Yeah. Oh, I think a good relationship is important because it helps with your learning. If you don't have a good relationship with your teacher, you're not motivated to learn, you don't want to be involved in the class.